A stadium alive with atmosphere and two teams ready to commit themselves to excellence for 90 captivating minutes. We're privileged to be here on an occasion that resonates with football fans everywhere. And if you think you know who's going to win, you are courageous indeed. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. We're at the home of Arsenal here in North London and everything points to an exciting contest. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Martin Odegaard. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Gabriel. It's with Erdegaard. A lot of excitement whenever Bukayo Saka is in the lineup. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Going well. And a chance to whip it in here. A good and fair challenge. To take the lead. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Partey. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard, William Saliba, Gabriel, William Saliba, Ben White, and here's Saliba. Tommy Yasu, Declan Rice, Thomas Partey, Rice with it, it's with Takahiro Tommy Yasu, Gabriel, it's with Erdegaard. Bukayo Saka and Havertz William Saliba there to take it away Gomes well he's been forced out of play this time well as you can see Wolves are struggling to control possession but when they have won it back in midfield areas their counter-attacking has been excellent they'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment well that's how to keep the opposition at bay His determination there for all to see. And possession given away. Declan Rice. It's with Gabriel. Partey. Rice. 
Rice with it. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Well, he hasn't really been able to hit the heights in this game so far, has he, Bukayo Saka? Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. No, high quality defending. Wang Hee Chan. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Martin Odegaard. Here's Saliba, Ben White, William Saliba. Declan Rice. Now with Havertz. Gomes. Ryan Ait Nuri. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Havertz. And here's Partey. It's Wolves' turn now. Lemina. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Bueno. And on the ball, Sarabia. Really good challenge. Martin Odegaard. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Mateus Cunha. On to Huang. Ryan Ait Nuri. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can they open things up? And a very good challenge. Well, just listen to these Arsenal fans. They're certainly driving their team forward here. Time and the scoreline against Arsenal. But still, they're in this. Ryan Ait Nuri. Gomes. And here's Cunha. Semedo. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. Well, they've decided to make a change. It's a short corner. Teammate in support. It's still there for him. Oh. 
So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.